Hey everyone, and welcome back to Dead Fire. Uh, we were just looking for this one guy in the caves. Uh, it was a lot of fighting, actually. A lot more fighting than I thought it would be. Someone's up ahead. How may I help? Me too. All right, we got Aloth first. So what we're probably going to want to do is just straight up fireball down the path that they're all going about to run. Uh, can we hit any of them with judgment? Might want to do that. And then I think just right off the bat, you know, you know how we always do. We always do the skeletons. But yeah, dude, dude, the video just started and we're already balls deep in this shit, bro. Uh, I don't want him to cross that path because then he's going to get hit. Um, so we are actually going to cover our... Our Magnus Longclaws is his name. Uh, I think, sadly, the only one that's gonna get hit is that fucking Wisp. Hmm? Uh... Yep, sadly, that is the case. Only one got hit. Um, that kind of happens, though. Oh. So try to finish the wisp off yeah. immediately. Let's reap this whirlwind. Hmm? We actually did not need to do all this casting. These guys are actually not very good. Just a graze. We're all just standing in a circle beating the shit out of this fucking thing. And just like that, we finish him off. Absolutely. Oh, I thought we were going to be able to keep take the skeleton with us. Looks like that. Indeed. You can't get hit, hurt by that, can you? I see the wits of their eyes. Just one. We're fine. This will be an easy fight. These ends are in for a walloping. Happy to oblige. I'm here. Don't sound so fucking excited about it, dude. Fuck. Hmm? So, teleports away. Take that off now. Because he's gonna end up healing. Anyways. Uh, dude, is this easy mode? Animancer's hat. Offers no benefits. <laughs> Alright, let's look at that. Indeed. What is that? It's an ingredient. So, let's look at our inventory. I shall. Just gonna put it on him because it offers no benefits, so it really doesn't matter whose head it goes on. I feel like it fits his outfit. <laughs> I'm over here playing dress up. Of course. That's so Dorisi. Frozen mid stride. The chamber, the ashen corpse's outstretched hand rests upon the crystal. Clutched tightly are remnants of a bundle of papers bound together with leather cord. This one's ashen. Means he ain't got no soul for me to tend to, right? So we got the got the notes the the 
mayor or whatever, the counselor was looking for those. Uh, and lone figure struck the dread. The air around you, ash and dust, it's still. The feeling grows worse. You look up at the Audra, since no energy flowing to the surface. It's been disconnected from the wheel. You place your hand against the pillar of luminous Audra. A dim, warm light emanates from the surface, but it feels cool to the touch. Pinpricks dance along your fingers, uncomfortable, but not painful. A woman's voice, scratchy, distant, and halting, echoes in your mind. Find your soul in him. You concentrate, peering into the Audra's energy as you would peer into a soul. Its inner light is blinding, but as you become accustomed to it, you perceive the core of the Audra itself, a churning mass of millions of soul fragments. With a jolt, the energy reaches out to you, the Anguithin ruin fragments around you, breaking into incoherent shapes and dissolving to dust falling into an infinite well of dark gray vapor. Even the ground itself disintegrates into nothingness. All that remains is the murky expanse of the in-between. The Audra Pillar, and a skein of golden threads rooted in the pillar that extend far off into the distance. You focus on the threads. You catch glimpses of memories, your memories, mingled among the memories of thousands of other captive souls. The filaments begin to cohere, rapidly twining into a golden cord. With a muffled crack, the cord ripples outward in a violent wave toward the endless distance. The cord undulates over a space so vast that you lose sight of the wave before it finds its end. Then, a heavy creaking, like the sound of mountains shearing under their own weight, washes through the dull gloom of the in-between. A violent force yanks you along the cord at an incredible speed. The murk of the in-between warps erratically, as though you are observing it through an ill-ground lens. Just as quickly as you were pulled forward, you stop. Suspended below a massive figure of ancient carved Audra. Like all Audra, it glimmers with energy, but the souls and memories within it are not flowing down. They churn in a vortex that burns at the heart of the statue's mass in some invisible engine. It is Aethys. The great golden cord terminates in his back, sending pulses of energy throughout his limbs as they move. He walks in long, slow strides toward a brilliant pillar of Audra far in the distance. It shines even more brightly in the in-between than Aethys. From within the teeming throng of souls, dozens of eyes look out to you. Through the cord, their collective anguish and despair push at the edge of your mind. Help us! Please! Help us! Their voices echo in your mind. You reach out to the lost souls, but the incredible power flowing through Aethys's body repulses you. Not even your Watcher powers can penetrate the massive tides of energy crashing through him. The souls sense your efforts and attempt to breach the surface of Aethys's body, but are instantly pulled back down into the deep well of the statue's heart, as though they were pried from the edge of a great precipice. Aethys's stride slows and stops. His head slowly pivots until its great burning eyes are cast back along the cord. As his gaze meets yours, you feel an overwhelming rush of incredible joy, mingled with profound sadness. You have sensed similar anguish in lost souls, but never with this intensity. A soothing voice drifts into your mind. It takes great bravery to venture through the in-between, even for a watcher. A swell of admiration radiates out from the god's heart. A force so intense that it momentarily overwhelms you. You do not need to follow me, for their sake or your own. Something beautiful is coming. Something that will save us all. 
A great light shines from Aethys's brow, so bright that even the souls within him flinch from the source, cowering in fear. Through the glare, you see Aethys's massive arm reach up to grasp the golden cord, the tether carrying energy from the Audra pillar to him that also suspends your consciousness. The sun will yet rise, Watcher. You need only wait for its light to come. Aethys yanks on the golden cord, pulling it from his back. The cord tears into filaments that blacken and dissolve to dust. Without pause, he turns to resume his stride toward the distant pillar of Audra, shining on the boundless horizon. You hear the souls within him cry out for just a moment, before your consciousness is snapped away from them. The in-between goes dark. For a second, you feel a mix of nausea and a sensation like spinning and falling. Then the moment ends. Your consciousness has returned to the Anguithin Arena. The world is sideways, the Audra Pillar upside down. You flinch at the feeling that you're standing on the ceiling. The disorientation overwhelms you and you collapse to your knees next to the luminous Audra Pillar. Previously dim and flickering, the pillar now glows with a strong and steady light. You touch the Audra again. You all right? Come on, we just got you back. I heard you say that before. Had something to do with a 2,000-year-old lunatic talking. I've seen you commune with souls of the dead, but this looked altogether different. What happened? You... well, he... really? I knew it. I mean, what did Gon say? Is he gonna meet us? What do we do next? He charged you with a divine calling, didn't he? Just like he's done for me. How hard can it be to find... in a... I wonder what he's after, and why he's been giving me these dreams. The things I've seen, they leave a mark on your soul. I may not know what Gon's got planned for me. I've got pretty much everything, so I think we could just leave. Razors. I do. Absolutely. All right, we got a gladiator sword.
It's definitely better, but he's not proficient with swords. So now it's a sharpened gladiator blade. What do we need? What is that? The pedroid to whatever. All right. I'm not gonna lie, I had to look that up. Oh, they're around here. Each one is the statue with the shields. Aww. Well, at least now I know how to do it. <laughs> Frodo, you calm down. I'm working here. Gather your party before they. Not gonna lie, I really suck with puzzles. Mm, all the souls got released. Mm. What do you see that I can't, Watcher? All of them? Really? Closer around you, one of them standing a bit closer than the others, gestures for your attention. Of course, I'll protect you. Watcher, we'd like to come with you. You have our thanks. We appreciate that you showed us the way to the Audra. But what if it goes dark before we reach the beyond? Can I harvest the souls now? Thank you for aiding my mission. Aloth really likes. I just her, knew you'd help me are. if I followed you. These emotions that resemble martial arts. Oh yeah. Hoo, hua, hua. Thank you, Watcher. I think we're all done here. Just like that, dude. Why would you go that way? Oh. Got a weight in my lantern now. Almost feel like I can hear the soul when I jostle it around. With every soul, my lantern's oh, getting shit. heavier and heavier in my hand. I did, recently with you. You were walking the depths of the ocean, but you didn't drown. And in your hand, you gripped the key to Aeora's end. I've seen stars wreathing a statue's brow, and souls flowing like tears over gleaming Audra. And then my god headed into the heart of the storm, where he could find the darkness. Tell me what's on your mind. Two hoops and a holler. I like her. I think she's cool. You need me, I'll be two whoops and a holler.
can't get through there. No, nothing over there. Oh, I really want to get to that old battleground. I don't want to fight him. Then you return. What for? What of them then? Then you speak as if you know the hunt. Yet you ask flesh without it. Then go, take this. Hmm. Maybe we'll go back to the village and maybe we can find something that will Good, help I us say. get through. Because I really want to go back to the battleground. I don't want to disturb his forest. A whole bunch of ships going around. What's over here? Mmm, even more stuff. a lot of time fucking with their stuff. I'm really wondering where I can find I want to get through there. Um fuck it we'll talk to you. I'll take an hour and forty seven minutes. Where are the swords at? Oh, yeah. Does he still have that bow? Swords. I want it! Alright. Let's go to cell. You take that. Don't really want to find dagger. Take the war hammer. All that, all that. And that's only $400. Cool, fuck me. And she has that cool helmet. Why is she all blue like that? <laughs> Dude, calm the fuck down. Don't bark. What can 
can I do for you? At last, Belfetto, tell me, please, what has happened? How much have we lost? I must... I must know. I... I see. And the work? Odoris's notes? There you go. Was there nothing of his research? You did. Gods be kind. And I hide the soon after beneath a cough. Belfetto. Belfetto! We are saved! <clears throat> That is, Odorisi's legacy is not wholly lost. I like to believe the man would find that pleasing. You say this is all the work of the Titan, of uh, Aeothis, and you still insist on looking for him? He destroyed your ship, killed my people. <coughs> would it not make the more sense we're to sail about. to the far side of the world and away from all this? What is that? No oh, intellect. You... You are too trusting in your superstition. Believe in what you have seen and felt. The death of every man oh, and woman curse. at that dig site. Merza. He will ravage every outpost in the dead fire. That Adra is why we are here. Why everyone is here in truth. The Valian Raiding Company. The Royal Dead Fire Company. Countless mercenaries. You'll want to go to Nekataka. Queen Onekaza II rules there at the Kahanga Palace. Hmm. Anyone seeking to do business in the Deadfire Archipelago must negotiate with her first. The Queen knows every other vein of worth in the Deadfire. I'm certain she can help you. That is, if she agrees to see you at all. And for that, you need your ship. I'll arrange it with Thank the cow. Between the two of us, I'm certain we can head down to the beach once you are ready to depart. Bompiaco, it is only right. After all, you have done for me. I won't keep you further. You have a long and very strange journey ahead. Some advice. After you have had your audience with the Queen, seek out the Valian Trading Company. They make their headquarters in Nekataka, and the company always appreciates a good head. Gimme, gimme. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, dude. Rinko's home. Fresh fish! Fresh fish! Race you to the coral. No contest. You what? are a Just strange you man. Fingers and I can't swim? You are a strange man. The Juana ought to keep to themselves. And when the next storm hits... Sadly, I don't think there's... Anything else? We could try going here, see if I missed anything. I know nothing's here. There's... Of 
course. Well, fuck. By Nagati's light, spare me the attention of outsiders. A basket yeah, I don't think there's really anything to carry all sorts of things. All right, now we gotta leave the city. I, we're just gonna fight him. Then you return. What of them then? Then I say I am not supposed. Oh. So I'm thinking. Not that in turn. Holy shit, those boars are tough. Okay, we are going to. Happy to oblige. Do some of that. Move you. Knock you down. Maybe I can... Oh, that's just a big-ass boar. That's why he was able to do way more damage. Yes. Alright, let's cast a heal. Actually, let's get a little bit closer, and then we'll cast heal. How we can get everybody who actually needs to be in there in there. Good shit. I'll wait for him to cast a spell, and then I will. May I be a candle in the night? Yes. He hits hard. Finish off the druid. There we go. Yeah. I'll let the darkness. Maybe we can knock him down. Yeah. Pull the big sword. Put away the big sword. What can I do? Yes. 
What can I do? Hmm? Happily. Okay. Quarter staff. Hide armor. So, we are actually going to put that on him. Brown cape. Now he's a badass. I shall put it to good hmm? use. Certainly. So I doubt this map is as big as we thought it was. Just looks like it's a, yeah, just a place for everywhere to go. I want to know what's in that fucking battleground, dude. Oh, now it's no longer a thing. Because I'm an asshole. Tattered veils. Oh, okay. Now go to the beach. Like this beach? Or like there? I was kind of confused, to be honest. Good, you are here. Clario has made good on his promise. We are making ready to free your ship. I say still that you are fortunate. The ship was nearly lost, but it will float. For how long, I cannot say. You will wish to find a friendly port with some speed, I think. So you will go to the great Kahanga city as well. You must sail north for some time, and then a little east. Take care oh, okay. and make a taka outsider. It will close its jaws around you. With a bunch of level ups, let's fucking go. Come. We will see your defiant out to sea. There's, there's a big hole. Achievement! We should address the matter of our ship's resources before we get underway. It saddens me to inform you that we lost several crew and most of our provisions during the storm. However, Port Marge appears to be well supplied, and I expect the recent disaster has left okay. several sailors in want of a ship. I suggest we contract for additional supplies and crew before we return to open water, or our voyage may indeed... The fire behind casually observed drones of the ship coming and going, fishing and trading. They fucking pirates? I've literally been sailing for three minutes. On behalf of the Principe and Patrina, I must request we meet in Parliament. I will make this quick. 
I have heard some marvelous tales regarding your ventures in the Deerwood. Uh. In fact, you are the first dragon slayer I have ever met, outside of a grave. Some fools would seek to make a fortune by pilfering from one such as you. Under the captain's words, you hear a well, faint is research. buzzing. It blooms all the way here now. Do, do, do. Imaginary melts, okay. Do, 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 do. Seam pulls away, it's cold clawing. No, 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 no. I believe you have met such a fool, Captain Benweth of the Drake. The mouth falls open. Careful, ship hunter. Mind that you do not confuse a useful skill set for a non expendable one. My apologies. <clears throat> Rest assured, it will not happen again. Apologies, Captain. Didn't mean it, really. We're up all night, you know, searching out our friend here. You've been at sea a while. Your mind starts playing tricks on you, eh? Well, Mine plays tricks on others, too. Usually don't mean much. Maybe <laughs> see a bit of shadow, hear a bit of tune. Not less a person sensitive. Like Is the one that attacked? Torture. Ach, the short-sighted scoundrel has been wreaking havoc in the area for months. He is no son of Velia. I do not fault his ancestry. But he disregards too much the grand heritage we Principi represent. Perception? Maybe How's that a perception check? the second most selfish captain within the Principi's newest generation. He risks all that we value. Perhaps I have said too much. This is a problem solely of my own. For now. Mm. Benweth is no captain of mine, Aimiko. It is not beneath my flag, yet I do seek to temper his actions when they would endanger the Principi altogether. Benweth's Drake took damage during the storm. Oh, okay. Eventually, he will need to dock for repairs, and when he does, Serefen can find him for you. He is rather an unrefined creature, but he is a most skilled ship hunter. Mm -hmm. Unrefined? Begging your pardon, Captain, but I'd be the eye fucking model of the gentleman of fortune. <laughs> as for Benwith, that sucker of squid tits be as predictable as the tide. But wager all my furriest bits that he'd set sail for deadline. That would be felicitous, indeed. <laughs> as I believe the traitor Remaro hides there as well. I quite enjoy killing two men. Wouldn't have even thought of it if you hadn't brought it up, sir. Now, I ain't hardly in any hurry to leave the fine company of the gentlemen of leisure. But the captain be right about me finding your mother. Adding to that, you sail into Fort Deadlight not knowing you're in his... Why would he loan parties. this to me? You might very well find the locals cannon-fucking your boat to sodden splinters. What venture does not require an investment to be prosperous? The Seraphim is an allowance, which I expect you will return. In one day... So I'd have to help him out with something? Oh, you won't be regretting this, Watcher. At least so long as you keep us heavy in grog and light on the onions. Ugh, them dirty shit <laughs> ain't never agreed with me, and I'll be suspecting they never will. He's not sleeping near my berth, I promise you that. I sail now for damage, my own safe port. I will await you there. Should you be A barbarian cipher? Cipher. Ah, fuck it. We'll multi class them. Oh, 
Don't tell me what to do, game. <laughs> Don't fucking bark at me! Jesus, dude. Alright, we are just going to level up and then we'll be all done. How do I level up just like normal? Oh. Alright, I'm just gonna level up real fast, but that'll be the end of the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I'll be back on later. Uh, yeah, let me know how everybody's day going. All right, I'll see y'all later. All right, bye.